Last day of Mel 2012 with me is uh, Iron Anand from Yes Sayer. How are you doing? Very well, how are you doing? I'm uh, quite tired, but uh, I'm very glad to meet you. Um, how do you like the Mel Festival? Is it your first time? This is our second time. We were here a couple years ago. Uh, and this is a incredibly unique festival. The scenery is pretty unbelievable. The amount of lights that they have in the rigs here is just like creates this very off-worldly environment. So it's pretty unique. Your music sounds really ethnic, tribal. What, what do you get your inspirations from? Uh, I mean, I think from album to album we try and spread uh, the palette as wide as possible uh, in terms of what we're picking from. So that sometimes will come from maybe more traditional folk world music. Sometimes that'll come with more from dance music of different eras, uh, some R&B music of different eras. But you know, the goal in the end is to coalesce all these things together into a unified aesthetic. Roots fusion. Exactly. Some see you as kind of new age hippies. Do you disagree or do you feel a little like in the old days? Um, I don't really like hippies anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, I mean, we're, we're pretty much urbanites. So I think people see whatever they see. I mean, I think that's one of the nice things about listening to music and becoming a fan is that you find something personal in it that you can relate to, or you can, you know, you define what you want to define about it. What were your first uh, influences in music? What were your first records you bought? Can you remember it? As a kid? Yeah. Probably California Raisins. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what was their big hit? Uh, uh, what was their big hit? Heard it through the grapevine, I think, right? Yeah, of course. Their only hit. California Raisins. The golden era of American radio was when we were, I think, younger kids, because you went from very quick changes in what was popular music, you know, all the way from, you know, you went through the grunge period, you went through the hip hop period, rap period, uh, you had all these, like, very, what it, now, looking back on it, it's pretty experimental ways of viewing pop music, so. Um, I think we were lucky in that. I read you write your songs on the computer, is that right? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. So there's no band session like, yeah, try this, try this, uh, how does it work? We usually, we usually use the band uh, to develop ideas and to kind of bounce things off each other. But yeah, no, most, most of the way that we compose stuff is using a computer to kind of make loops and uh, sampling, you know. It's Modern recording techniques. And then there's like the old hippies. No, okay. no, not quite. We're, we're not, not that. We're not that talented.